Welcome to lesson two of learning to code in 10 minutes or less. Today, uh, we're going to set up our front end test environment. So first you need it to complete lesson one. So if you didn't do lesson one, uh, the URL is there and also the YouTube video. If you want to watch that today, we're going to set up the front end test environment. This will allow us to uh, test it and to uh, go over HTML, JavaScript, ES6, as we grow into learning about React.js. Also, later on, we'll be also creating an environment for Java Spring on Heroku. So today, setting up your unit test run-in environment. So we're going to use uh, what is called the now. So the website is https colon slash slash c-e-i-t dot c-o. So if you go to that website and create an account and you will be able to um, and you'll need to connect it to your GitHub account. So if you didn't do lesson one, you need to go back and watch lesson one. So you'll have the GitHub for our class over the next few weeks. <coughs> so the next screen, once you go to sign up, you'll see a button for continue with GitHub. You would click on the first one. Then you will actually connect and log in with the account you created uh, yesterday in lesson one. If not, go watch lesson one video and create that. After that, you will then see that you're going to allow that now to connect to your GitHub area. And then you will actually, uh, once you're authorized, you'll get an option to import our class project. And you'll click the import button. Next, you will uh, see that it wants you select from GitHub where we're going to get the code from. And then you might have to, if you will have to install the plugin into your GitHub that will connect that now to your GitHub repository. And then from that, you'll see it will install and install in your GitHub repository. And then finally, you want to select the learn to code, which you created in the first lesson. If not, go watch the first YouTube video and download the uh, presentation from that lesson. And finally, you'll see that it's selected. And then you would do a continue to import. And finally, where everything currently is in the root directory and future lessons as we add more code, we'll be uh, adding more directories. You hit continue. And then it will allow check again, make sure to build. We're not going to change these in this lesson. In the future, we'll be changing how it, it actually is deployed. You click deploy. And then finally, it will deploy it out to the Zet Now server. And you should see this. Within a few minutes, you'll be able to click on the visit. And you should see the website. Also you have the option to uh, look at the logs and uh, there's a log drop down and you will see that it finished and then when you're finished you should see a website with your account and the creation of our first uh, little work area and tomorrow we will start to update the website update the code and go over some of the basics of HTML before we get into other lessons. Thank you. This is 10 minutes or less learning to code.